So for me, every car needs to sound amazing before you get a look at it. Right from the time he could hold a pen, uh, he drew just cars. Uh, I'll tell you what happened before even he knew what a pencil was. He couldn't say car, <laughs> so he used to call it Tata Boom Boom. Tata was because he could go out in that and uh, then for a drive, and Boom Boom because it made a very loud sound. My relationship with cars and bikes started off when I was just a little boy. Dad was a big car buff in his young days, racing, rallying, circuit racing. And um, ever since we were little kids, conversations were always about cars. Holidays were always getting the car and drive somewhere. Toys were just cars, bikes, okay. And my dad had his own rally car, he had his own racing bike. So weekends were fun with him because he took the time out to, you know, he wanted us to be like him and love the things he loved. Mom's car was the car that we used to mess around. We snuck it out, we uh, pulled the handbrake a couple of times, uh, almost toppled the car once, um, had a few accidents. So this car has been part of me and my brother growing up and learning how to drive. And this thing was just lying around, nobody to use it, probably catching rust in some places and the best offer we got was 50,000 rupees because the Corsa was such a thirsty car. Nobody wanted to buy the thing. That's when I went up to my parents and said, okay, listen, um, I'm not going to go apply for a job. I'm not going to go and be an intern somewhere. I am going to take some time out, stay at home and build this thing. I followed my gut. It's taken me from start to finish about 16 and a half months. I built this... Um, to be a tarmac rally car. I mean, it took all the experience I had from learning design in college and um, meddling with uh, tools and working in workshops in school and stuff. So my the body and the fabrication of the roll cage, the pushing back of the B pillar and um, some of the metal fabrication, making the whole front body into a fiberglass cowl, making the rear fenders into fiberglass. All the fabrication and all the body work happened at my dad's factory and um, whatever mechanical work I had to do, um, I've had this ace mechanic. When I have a problem, I just give him a call, I diagnose the problem, I explain it to the best of my ability on the phone and he uh, can somehow understand what I'm talking about and tell me what the problem is. So the mechanical part was done at my mechanic's garage and the final paint job, my brother and I hired a paint shop out in the city and uh, we spent a week painting. Not to boast, but I really like it when people admire what I've done with my hands. It's different when you're driving a swanky car like a BMW or a Mercedes or something and somebody says, oh wow, and you're proud that you bought the car. But when you build your own car, uh, it's a special feeling. Whenever I feel like some adrenaline, I need some some energy in the day, some adrenaline in the day, I just take it out for spin. And the spin being the literal sense of the word, literally pull the handbrake and mess around. It's good fun. Part of rules in my house and even rules with building a machine that has so many capabilities, power, safety, uh, is being responsible when you drive it. Because you have to respect what you made and respect what it is. I have all the safety features in my car. I have a roll cage, I have a four-point harness seat belt, I have a detachable steering wheel, um, good brakes, good suspension. So 
speed is important but safety is even more important than that so that's what i focused on nasik being one of the stages for the indian national rally championship has a lot of b roads which are tarmac and they're well tarred so i have a lot of choice uh, i just fill my tank up find a good road and go to town with it it's good fun This is just me at 27, uh, with working within my boundaries and within my budget of what I needed to do and what I could achieve within with this much money. And there's more to come. I'd like to have my own place someday, and um, definitely do things for myself in terms of what I'm passionate about, and also take on some projects for other people who are passionate about cars. Dave Katri and this is my commute